Ryan, huge congratulations into the semi-finals of the World Grand Prix. Just sum up what the emotions like sat there right now. Well, obviously, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling to win that match and get through. Um, <laughs> obviously, it was, like you say, a really topsy-turvy match. Could have went either way. Um, the luck was on my side tonight, I think, yeah. We saw Rob took out a couple of huge finishes to pile the pressure back on you. At that moment, are you thinking that it's not your night when he keeps hitting these big blockbuster finishes? No, not, no, um, not really. I'm thinking... I thought the first two sets were a bit scrappy and then the third set I thought I played really well to go 2-1 ahead and then obviously the second set I thought Rob played really well, took out some great checkouts but I was sitting on a finish, I'd done my, I felt like I'd done my job, I put him under loads of pressure, he responded to a fair play to him, I mean he's a class player, that's what you expect from him, you just keep, you keep going, trust that you've started to play well, you're in a red bit of the room, just don't think about it, just go for the next leg and see what happens, that's what, that's what I was telling myself. Last yeah, time all the way through. Were, last time you were sat there, you said that you were a danger and players shouldn't underestimate you. You're now two games yeah. from glory. Are you starting to dream of lifting that trophy yet? Oh, I, I, I've dreamed about lifting the trophy since uh, since I joined the PDC, and I, I've I've only had one attempt at it before, and I think I missed I missed seven match starts to beat Dave Chisholm, and he went on to get to the semi final. So I always felt like uh, uh, this is the competition for me. Thank you. Ryan, these moments in your career are huge, huge moments. Um, just wondering how you how you deal with the nerves in what could be a real life changing week for yourself. Uh, well, I, I played darts for so many years and in the PDC for a lot of years as well. Um, I don't get those nerve extra nerves. What what you're talking about? Um, mm. I get more nervous in the first round of a pro tour than I do playing on the stage, especially against players like Josh Rock, Nathan Aspinall, and Rob Cross. I'm the underdog in them games. I, I, I feel like I'm not under pressure. I feel like um, they're, they're the ones that are under pressure. They they are, should be beating me if you look at the statistics, you know. So I don't know. I don't feel under pressure in the games. I feel under more pressure when I'm playing in the pro tour and I'm playing somebody that. I'm expected to be, that's when I feel the pressure. Yeah. Do you think being the underdog and having that sort of mentality has really sort of aided you in this tournament? Absolutely. Yeah, mm. definitely. Um, a, a lot of good dart players will tell you um, a, lot of, a lot of darts is in the head, a lot of darts is mental strength and mental toughness. And in this competition, I feel confident, I feel good. Um, in another competition, I might have played worse there against yeah. Rob, especially when he put us in that. The pre I felt like I was on top of the match at a certain point and then he come roaring back and maybe in that competition I might have folded a little bit more than I did but in this competition I just feel like uh, I can I just feel like I'm winning so I feel good about it. What experiences are you going to be able to sort of draw upon tomorrow in what's going to be probably one of the biggest games of, of your career so far? Yeah, um, well I, I don't know who I'm be up against yet um, uh, so. I haven't even thought about it, <laughs> to be fair. Um, it's only been 10, 15 minutes since I finished playing. Uh, I don't know, I'll think about that tomorrow, really. I'm not going to think about it now. No worries, okay. Ryan, you're around 50% starting and finishing doubles for the tournament. You must feel like you're hitting doubles well enough to go all the way. I do, uh, I do feel like that, but every time I miss one single dart a double, I get so frustrated. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, if I really do have 50% starting and finishing, that's really good. But if when I'm playing, it feels like I'm playing worse than that because I expect so much of myself on the doubles. Um, I haven't really looked at the statistics for so that. That's really good. 50. I'm happy with that. But um, I thought it was lower. <laughs> Format now goes up to best of nine. Are you confident that you can maintain that over the extended format? Yeah, definitely. I've maintained it for eight years. I can do it for five sets. Yeah. It's either Luke Humphreys or Johnny Clayton tomorrow. Luke was the man to stop you at the Players' Championship finals. Would you yes. fancy a little bit of revenge if it was to be Luke? Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, why not? You know, um, I know. <laughs> I know Luke Humphreys is not just a good player. He's maybe he's a generational player. He's that good. Um, but. Over this format, I feel like I can equal them over a long format, and I'm going to really try my best. And I, I don't feel like he should be long odds on favourite. I think I should be closer to him than what many people may think. Cheers, thank you.
Brian, when Rob came into this tournament, by his standards, his, his record here was horrific. Do you look at that when you play someone like Rob and feel that you've got more of a chance to get that extra motivation? No, no, I don't look at things like that. Um, uh, Rob told me when when we were chatting about his record, yeah, maybe it was an <laughs> attempt at mind games, but things like that go over my head. I, I don't tend to concentrate on things like that. Unless it's my own personal statistics, I don't look at other players' statistics. You said that you should be closer to Luke than what perhaps many people will put you if you do face him. Mm -hmm. When we spoke to Mike the Dagger, he wasn't thinking at all about lifting the trophy. If you've got half an eye on that, do you really believe that you can go on Sunday and lift that first major? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I really think that. Yeah, 100%. When you've been putting all the years on, on the Pro Tour, is it such a relief to, to finally make these big strides? Was it eight or nine years you've been saying, now in the top 32, now we're back to back major semi finals last year, now this year? Yeah, um, yeah, not, not so much a relief because. I think I would have been, I would have done a lot better in my eight years in the PDC if I hadn't had so many injury problems over those years. Um, there's, I've had a couple of really big setbacks in my career. I had um, a problem with my right leg where I couldn't put any weight on it for six months. And that set us back a long way where I couldn't practice. And uh, another one, I was hospitalised with pneumonia, and that that set us back another six months as well. So it's, I feel like. Every time I get to somewhere where my game's coming together and I'm starting to play well, some some sort of injury problem happens where it, it sort of sets us back. But um, I always felt like I, I could be a really good player in the PC, maybe top 16 at least. And um, hopefully I'm getting closer to doing that than ever before. Right, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan, uh, just back on, if it is Humphreys tomorrow, obviously you've been three world-class players to get here, but mm. Humphreys is more than world-class. Yeah. Is there any different preparation for a player like Humphreys or do you fancy, fancy your chances with the format like you said? I think you have to keep reminding yourself to be really strong mentally because it's so tough playing somebody that just keeps hitting what they're going for all the time. Um, I, I felt like I had prepared myself right for this match and I think I showed that in going one set down to a, a number four seed, Rob Cross, a fantastic player and I didn't panic. I just said, I trusted in what I was doing, I said, I'm all right, I can, I can win the next set with my throw. And, and from then, I felt like he, his game was a bit up and down, since I, because the first set I thought was magic, so consistent, and that's what you expect from Rob, but these top players, you put them under pressure, and just watch them miss. Thank you very much. <laughs>